Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to Summer in the City, day five. I can't believe we're already on day five and I have just had the best week and I think it has to do with obviously this video series and inspiring me to just get out there, do fun things in the city. If you're new here, my name's Danielle. Subscribe down below so you're notified every time I post. I am uploading a, a vlog every single day for the next two weeks doing fun new things in New York City because it's my first summer, one second. So I just got back from the Jersey Shore this morning. It was so much fun. Go watch yesterday's vlog if you wanna see. Went to Parker House, such a vibe. I met a lot of you guys, so thanks for saying hey. It's a little bit of a gloomy day, but it's not raining right now, and I hope it's never gonna rain again. It rained this morning. We're going to a Yankees game, and it's so funny. I've literally never been to the Yankees stadium. I've been to a Yankees game before, but it was like the Tampa Bay Rays versus the Yankees or something, I don't know. But I'm so excited, it's, oh my God. I've wanted to cross it off my bucket list to go to the Yankees stadium, um, so I'm really excited. I believe they're playing the Chicago Cubs today, which, fun fact about Ryan, I believe his parents named him Ryan after a Cubs player of some sort. Like, not because of him, but like they loved that name because of that player, so they were like, oh yeah, we'll name him Ryan. Ryan's a big Cubs fan, but I do believe he'll be cheering for the Yankees. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to the Yankees game. Him, me, his roommate Luke, one of my best friends from high school, um, and then one of my other best friends from high school, Morgan, because Morgan and Luke, me, we were all friends. So it's a great little group of four. So pumped. It's a 1.30 game. It's literally starting as I'm vlogging. But we all are just running a bit behind. You know, last night was Saturday night. Some of them went out in the city after the Tampa Bay Lightning one, <laughs> which is funny. I didn't cheer for the Rangers last night, but I'm cheering for Yankees today. You know what? I want to get a hot dog and a Coke, you know, or like a Sprite, something of that nature, or a beer. <laughs> I've been drinking so much, I don't know. But I really can't lie, I'm really happy with my outfit. I was FaceTiming Morgan and she was like, what are you wearing? And I was like, I think just like jeans and a white top. And then I had this green Yankees hat. I have a black hat that I'm bringing for her that she's gonna wear. And then I forgot I just got these overalls and I've been wanting to wear them and it's just the perfect day to do so. It's kind of chilly out, so I wanted to wear some long pants. I'll link these overalls below. They're from Levi's, I got them off of Revolve. Just wearing this white tank from Zara underneath. Hat I got from Urban Outfitters. Then I braided my hair. <laughs> Just getting spunky with it. So yeah, here's a better look. It was kind of overexposed by the window, but I love this. I think I got these. They're like true to size. Um, anything else? Oh, I'm still wearing my gut ball wristband in case we want to go later, but I don't know. I feel like we're going to be exhausted. Then I'm wearing my platform white Converse because they're comfy. And then we're gonna do my white shoulder bag. This is the hat I'm bringing for my friend Morgan. And yeah, then we'll just kind of see how the day goes, but I think this is a great little Sunday afternoon activity. And I'm so excited. Ryan looks so good today. I love this fit. there's a target like 10 minutes down the road we decided that we're gonna do a game night tonight why not we're gonna go to Mary Stephen and Morgan's apartment I think in the West Village 
and these boys and we're gonna do a game night and I have some games but I don't have any board games so we're gonna go to Target and pick out like one or two other board games that we'll want to play and just have a wholesome night I'm so excited the game was so fun anyways that's what we're doing all right let's hope that they have some board games for us to buy all right oh my gosh they have so many expansion packs for um cards against humanity <laughs> Wow, there's actually a lot of games. We've got Monopoly. That takes years. For the girls. Oh, I already have that one. Don't worry. <laughs> so fun. There's a Schitt's Creek. Oh, that's fun. Um, man, I like to... Oh, the Game of Life is low-key so fun. Also a long game. Anonymous, anonymously for the player that is described by the question. Oh, anonymously, that's Probably funny. <laughs> okay, I think we're definitely gonna get this one. It's called the five second roll, and you have five seconds to like list off things like this. This one's called Stir the Pot. It's kind of like most likely to vibes. Tell, don't. Interesting. Okay, just got back. I showered, put on some comfy clothes. Thought I'd do a little game haul for you. Um, we got this game I was showing you guys, five second roll. I'm so excited to play it. You have five seconds to say all these really funny things. Then we got Tell Me Without Telling Me. It looks like it's kind of like a charades game. Like, tell me without telling me you're an underwear model. <laughs> I think that's hysterical. And we're playing with guys and girls, so that's funny. I got this Cards Against Humanity expansion pack. It's just got some new prompts because I've played the original ones so many times. And then the boys also wanted to get the college pack. So I'm gonna get, bring these. And then I also have Incoherent, which is a really, really funny game. <laughs> this is a great little setup here. Ready? <laughs> Name three reasons you wish you were a dog. <laughs> Um, More than five seconds. Okay, now we're playing this game. Tell me without telling me. Yeah. All right. Just so I'm gonna, where's the dice? Show, don't tell. Okay. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oh, wait, did you just do that? No, I didn't. Fight. Box. Box. What's MMA fighter. Is it a person? Yeah, MMA fighter. MMA fighter. Push. A lot of back, back to back. Fortune teller. Wow. Cheerleader. Cheerleader. This is fun. <laughs> Singing in the rain. Jim Carrey. Weatherman. Weatherman. Anchorman. It's impossible. It's impossible. Washing. Petting a dog. Dog walker. Veterinarian. There you go. Oh. Uh, watch. Oh, party jeweler. Jewelry. As seen on TV. Sam Wow. As seen on TV. Every commercial. Shopping host. Telemark? Yeah, there we go. Telemark. Oh, fuck. Telemark, are nice. Back from game night, we all had so much fun and we were like, okay, we're gonna make this a tradition, a thousand percent. Like, Sunday night game night, not every Sunday night, but like, you know, if there's a Sunday one of us is feeling it, we'll text and be like, Sunday night game night? Like, I think that'd be really fun. It was so funny. I haven't laughed that hard in a while because I haven't been to a comedy club in like a month. What is happening? I usually go every weekend. Um, yeah, it's like 10.30. I'm definitely a little sleepy right now, but my apartment is a mess and I really don't like to go to bed when it's super messy. So I'm gonna listen to a podcast. A couple of my favorite podcasts come out on Sunday, so. I'm gonna listen to a podcast and clean as much as I can. I am literally so embarrassed to show you guys this. That is not typical. I don't usually let it get this bad, but my dishwasher's clean. So I just, I was too lazy to unload it. That's what was happening here. I've got random, you know, things everywhere. I left yesterday morning for the Sh Jersey Shore without making my bed, which is very, very unlike me. When I leave for a trip, or <laughs> it was like one night, but I was just in a big rush. The clothes I have to hang up, I have to unpack from Daly's house. My shoes are everywhere. This is real. This is me. This is exactly where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna do a little, a little cleaning montage.
11.42 now. I'm tired. Um, make some hot tea. My apartment's a little chilly right now, but I like sleeping in cold, you know, that kind of vibe. Um, I don't know, just like a nice hot cup of tea sounds really soothing right now. Tomorrow's Monday, we're recording Gals in the Go. I have kind of like a free morning, so I'm trying to decide what to do. Maybe have like a solo morning. I've been wanting to go to Central Park and do a picnic with somebody, but maybe that somebody's myself. Table for one club, picnic for one club. Uh, and then going to dinner at a place I've been wanting to go to tomorrow night. Um, and then potentially an event tomorrow night, I don't really know. So I want to do something fun in the daytime tomorrow, like before we record the podcast. Um, wow, I'm really declining, but my apartment feels a lot more clean, which we love. I still haven't hung up my clothes. I was getting lazy, but my bed's made. I have laundry going, dishes are <laughs> done. Um, and I'm just feeling really refreshed, really happy, really just my cup is full in a good way. Like, I feel very fulfilled. I actually had gotten the opportunity to go to the Hamptons this past weekend with a brand that I love. And it was going to be really, really cool. But there was just something in me. I'm not telling you guys to be like, oh my God. But I don't know. I just thought I'd like share this with you guys. There was something in me that just really didn't want to just drop everything and cancel all my f plans on all my friends. And I mean, really it was just yesterday that I had the plans and GovBall. Um, but like today was just kind of sporadic, but I'm just so happy it happened. Like I got to see my friends from college yesterday. Tonight I was with my friends, Mary Steven, Morgan and Luke and, and Ryan obviously, but like my best friends from high school um, and still my best friends to this day. Um, and Ryan and I had so much fun on, at GovBall on Friday that it all just kind of worked out and it was like hard to say no to because obviously that sounds so cool but listen to your gut something was telling me no like you're gonna have a good weekend here and i'm so happy i did because i really wanted to go to the jersey shore and celebrate daily and it was so fun so anyways I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. We had such a fun day. I hope I captured enough of it on camera. Um, I didn't want to like vlog too much at game night because honestly that game was pretty inappropriate. One of the games we played and it was hilarious, but like I would share me on screen, like on camera, but some of my friends, like I didn't, I didn't think they'd want to be on camera with them like acting out, you know, things. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna wash my face. I might just sleep in this. Like, I'm just so tired that I like, can't even think. I'm currently still reading The Summer I Turned Pretty. Um, and yeah, I've got my sleepy time tea here. Not that I need the sleepy time part of it, but you know, that's that. I love you guys so much. I'm having so much fun doing this series. Like, everyone's like, Summer in the City, Danny is thriving. Like, it's true. Like, doing this series is just putting me in the best mood. and pushing me to go do things and have new experiences. The Yankees game was just so fun. Like when we won, they played New York, New York by Frank Sinatra and the whole stadium was just united. It was very sweet. So yeah, tonight's one of those nights I wish I had a TV in my bedroom. Like I really want to watch some Netflix. Like there's this movie, oh my gosh, here I go, called The Octopus Teacher. And apparently everyone and their mother watched this like when it first came out and I just never did. Um, a lot of you probably are like knowing what I'm talking about, but basically long story short, the other day my trainer, Jane, we were literally mid-workout. She's telling me about this movie. I don't even know how it came up. I think we were talking about like underwater and everything that's underwater. And she was like, I learned a lot about octopus recently from that movie. And she like, I won't spoil it if you guys haven't seen it, but she basically told me about something that happens at the end of the movie. And the movie sounds like a little weird. Like this guy kind of like, falls in love with an octopus. Not actually, he goes and visits an octopus every day for a year and like his experience. I haven't seen it yet. I literally still haven't seen it yet. Basically she told me one of the scenes that happens. I started sobbing crying in the gym like mid-workout and she was like, I am so sorry I told you this. I was like, no, like it was just very sweet, honestly. Um, and then I told Ryan, and he was like, oh yeah, I've seen that. It's kind of weird, but it's good. Anyways, I was hoping, I really want to like watch that tonight, like watch underwater stuff, like that's so relaxing. But I don't really feel like sitting on my couch. Like 
like I really just want to lay in bed, but I don't want to watch it on my computer, you know? So that's one of those nights. But overall, I like having a TV out here and not in there because it separates my bedroom from being like relaxation time and then the living room being, well, I guess that's also relaxation, but you know what I mean? Like when I go to my room, I sleep. It's like, I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna brush my teeth and put on moisturizer and go to bed and read a little bit until my eyes get tired and I fall asleep. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and guess what? I'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys, love you.